Oh, hello, uh, my name's MVC, and today we've got a video unboxing here on the Club 3D TV YouTube channel. It is the AMD Radeon HD 7000 series card, the 7770 to be specific. I've had this card for about a month now, but fortunately, and I say fortunately over unfortunately, because I've been to CBIT uh, on the Club 3D booth, which is a fantastic experience. I had myself, Stefan, Theo and Maria uh, had me out there working, did some 1v1 shootouts against the public in Quake Live and Warsaw. Uh, Warsaw is actually a fantastic free to play game, as is Quake Live. Check them out at warsaw.net and quakelive.com. Um, we also ran Dirt 3 in Trapmania Nations, which was great, and perhaps fantastic of all is I was able to sneak into the ESL IEM World Championship Arena and watch some League of Legends and Counter-Strike 1.6, uh, which is always great. Uh, I love watching those two games, Joe, Demand commentating, uh, so on and so forth, it was great. Uh, so I want to thank the Cook 3D guys for sending me out there and allowing me to work on the booth. Uh, I enjoyed the company, it was great to meet all of you. And uh, to all the subscribers I met as well, there was a few of you that came over to speak. I want to say thank you for uh, continuing to support myself and Club 3D on the YouTube channel here. I know I can be a little bit slow with these videos, but I'm getting better, I hope. But anyway, on to the unboxing of this 7770. Now, this is one of the lower tier cards of the 7000 series, just above the 7750. Uh, but, you know, still on the extreme end because it is still a 7000 card. And I know some of you watching will be still running a 4000, 5000, or 6000 series card. I know in my obsessed computer I have a 7000, one of the top series cards. And then down here um, I have a 5770, which is quite outdated by uh, you know today's standards and even though I won't be keeping this card myself um, this would definitely be a card I'd be looking at putting into that computer more casual gaming but you know still going to push out those top games currently available and will definitely keep you through 2012 uh, but if you have the budget I do recommend you go higher of course um, but you know be happy with this if you can't. So obviously you've got the red and black which are the AMD colours uh, play your cards right which is the Club 3D slogan uh, just to run through what it says on the front of the box you've obviously got your AMD HD 3D technology uh, for those of you that do have uh, 3D monitors uh, that support the AMD technology such as the Samsung's um, you've got AMD Affinity which is your multi monitor setup uh, you've got AMD Crossfire X so it does support your multiple GPUs um, obviously here you've got DX11 support which uh, most new games now support and there's a couple that still run DX9 more of the competitive style games like maybe Tribes Ascend and Counter Strike Global Offensive but uh, those games like Crisis 2 you're really going to want a DX11 so definitely look at a card that does include it like the 7770 um, you've got 1080p Full HD support I guess you know I always say it's a buzzword but it does support it if you're using a TV perhaps as a second monitor uh, you'll be catered for that uh, will support higher for a digital output, pretty sure it's on the back of the box. Um, you've got 7.1 HD surround sound uh, through output, um, through HDMI I assume, and at OpenGL. Um, obviously on the side of the box, just the uh, graphics card names. And if we move to the back, a um, bit of a description on the card. AMD iFinity 2.0 technology, um, AMD Zero Core Power technology. In fact, let's have a look what this says. Uh, the Club 3D HD 7770 graphics card can turn off most of its functional units of the GPU when they are unused, leaving only the PCI Express bus and other components active. This, as a result, reduces the power consumption from 15 W watts at idle to under 3 watts uh, in long idle, a power level low enough that zero core power shuts off the fan and there is no heat generated, further saving energy. Now, this actually interests me because I don't know what it's going to be like just running movies, but if you can turn the GPU fan off completely, that's going to be fantastic. You know, less noise can be better. Um, but that says I don't know, I've not tried it. Uh, specifications, you've got uh, 1024 megabyte GDDR5 memory, uh, which is obviously great. Um, if you're going to use multi-monitor setups, you're definitely going to want uh, two of these anyway. Um, you want to get up that memory to as high as possible. 1.3 is a good value, but if you can double them up and get 2 gigabyte, you're going to be sorted for you know those uh, triple monitor setups. But um, if you're buying this card, uh, you're, you're going to be fine with just the one, I think. Um, you've got 1 to 8 bit memory interface, your 400 megahertz RAM DAC, and your PCI Express 3.0 support. Now, I do have to confirm that you can run this card on PCI Express 2.0. Uh, but it does support 3.0 Express motherboards if you do have them, which is definitely going to take advantage of the graphics card. But I'm told at the moment, and I did experience on the 7970, that there wasn't too much of a performance difference just yet. But obviously as technology improves, uh, so will the graphics count. So if you've got a 3.0 Express motherboard, definitely uh, pick up a PCI Express 3.0 graphics card like the 7770. Um, 
Key features, uh, eye definition graphics, AMD Infinity 2.0, this is pretty much what we read on the front, going through it, yep, yep, yep. Uh, da, da, da. HDMI 1.4a, you should point that out. Um, including the box, which we'll see in a minute. Driver support, um, XP Vista, Windows 7. Uh, system requirements, um, I think you guys should all be fine with that. Um, but it is the extreme edition. Uh, what you should know is that you will require a minimum of 450 watt power supply. That's the one thing I need to tell you. Um, everything else should be pretty self-explanatory with the card. Uh, the ports you got is uh, two mini display ports. Uh, you got HDMI and dueling DVI I, um, which is going to be good for your 120 hz monitors, the dueling DVI I. And if you're using the Samsung monitors or other monitors that have a display in power, I know the Dell Ultra Sharps do then AMD card is going to be the way for you because you do have the mini display ports. Um, again here, it recommends the CSP S600, 600 watt power supply. So uh, why don't we go ahead and get this graphics card open. Um, before I continue, I want to say Clifford, you don't include the accessories in the box such as your DVI to VGA adapters. Uh, this is because if consumers unfortunately had to return the card, uh, Clifford really found that they usually came packaged uh, unopened. So this keeps the prices down, one of the reasons why the Club 3D graphics cards are so competitively priced. Um, I have like five DVI to VGAs lying around from previous cards, I'm sure you do as well, but if you do need one, or you need uh, maybe a display port to H or a display port to DVI, check out club-3d.com, you can get all of your accessories or find out where to buy them on there. But anyway, let's move forward. Um, obviously you've got your doorstop with your warranty sticker on the back, make sure you register this on the website, very very important, don't forget. Um, you've got your quick installation guide. I'm sure you've watched enough of my rubbish installation videos of me banging around the graphics card in the case to know how to do this. But if you don't, you've got a little guide here. There you've got your power supply, recommended power supplies. Every card up until this one has been the green editions. This one is in fact the yellow edition, the CSP600. Uh, obviously I recommend you go one higher all the time uh, to what's recommended, just because that way you'll cater if you have dual GPUs and so on and so forth. On the back are your accessories that I was talking about, club-3d.com again. Um, another quick installation guys, so you've got your German and your English. Um, installation CD, again recommend you go to club-3d.com and download the latest drivers. By the time you get this they're probably outdated AMD fixing any issues and bugs that crop up. So if you've got an internet connection, which I'm sure you have, download the latest. But if you haven't, you've got the CD. And I do believe actually these might download the latest ones as well, so uh, you could just install this and check it out anyway. Um, Okay. Last but not least, we have the graphics card in my static bag. Um, single fan design, almost in the middle. Um, you've got your two display ports, your HDMI 1.4 and your DVI-I, your dueling DVI-I. So uh, obviously again, you're going to support your 120Hz and 3D monitors. Um, the through, I, in fact, if this HDMI is 1.4, I think this will support 120Hz at 4 hertz, but you're going to have to look into that and check if the 120Hz monitor is actually support 120Hz output through HDMI. Not all of them have HDMI 1.4, so make sure you're uh, double checked on that, but it will work through the dueling DVI, uh, which is what I use on all my monitors. I prefer DVI over everything at the moment. Uh, maybe DisplayPort sometime this year, but for now, dueling DVI is just fine. Um, you've got your 6 pin power connector, so most power supplies you'll be fine with what you've got. Um, it's not a 6 and an 8 pin like most dual GPUs or more powerful 7000 series graphics cards, it's just the 6 pin. So again, uh, your PSUs are going to be fine with that, you won't need any additional cables most likely. Um, on the top here, if we turn it around, you've got the red PCB for AMD colors, very very nice. Uh, not a blue PCB like some of the previous graphics cards, which made no sense because it wasn't red for AMD. Um, so liking this much, much better, thanks to Club 3D and the uh, AMD Radeon HD 7770 uh, manufacturers. Uh, you've got your Crossfire connection here for your dual GPUs. And uh, pretty much it really. Obviously your PCI Express connection along the bottom. So uh, again guys, I want to thank you all for tuning in to this unboxing. Uh, make sure you rate, comment and subscribe here. Follow Club 3D on Facebook. And uh, yeah. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.